Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. My life just kind of got a little bit chaotic. Um, I'm starting to do a lot more overtime, and so I haven't had much time to actually film during the day. So by the time that I get home, it's already about 7 or 8. And then by the time that I wake up, it's already like 5 in the after or yeah, 5 in the evening or 6 in the evening. And so by that time, either I'm too tired to film or... Uh, it's too late in the day and there's not enough light. So luckily it is Saturday and I have some time this morning because I had to pick up some stuff. Um, my post office or like the USPS, for some reason they will not uh, deliver the packages to my actual mail parcel or like those mailbox uh, package pickup things. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, but all I know is that apparently one moment they're broken, the next moment they're not broken. Another moment they're having issues with my apartment complex about the thefts or whatnot. So I just constantly have to go down to grab them. And they tried to deliver these yesterday, but then they couldn't. And it's been a whole mess. So I do have uh, three packages. Uh, one... I actually should have had two packages. One of them actually did not get sent with the other plans. And so uh, the seller decided to just ship that one out on its own. Uh, and I did not have to pay for shipping for that one since it was uh, the seller's fault. But let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to actually start off with uh, an order with Anna. Uh, I forgot her last name, but she's in Hoya Lover's uh, Facebook store. Uh, she does a lot of sales there. And I bought many, many Hoyas from her. <clears throat> They're really good quality. They're really great. I've never had any issues. I actually forgot what I got from her. <laughs> uh. Okay. So here's a small package. Da -da -da -da. Uh. All right. And then hairs inside. So she did include uh, this little bubble thing. And let's see. Take out this card. Okay. So this, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> uh, so this is actually a Deshidia, so this is not a Hoya, but it is a cousin to the Hoya family. And so this is a Deshidia Jerry. Um, I love how small the leaves are. It kind of reminds me of a Hoya Hoshkiliana. Uh, this is actually a really waxy uh, type of leaf. I don't know. It's, I think it's cute. I might be venturing into this video soon. Who knows? <laughs> um, so then let's go ahead and get into this other package that I got from her. So this one, I should have two in here. I just cannot remember the names. I always have such a problem trying to open these type of boxes. Because there's tape like uh, here, then there's tape here, and there's tape here, and then there's tape over here, and then over here. There's like, they're not all together. They're all like separate little pieces. And so I always have a hard time trying to figure out where they are. And then I go and try to uh, open the box. And I'm like, girl, why aren't you opening? And then it turns out I just forgot to take out the tape from a certain spot. Oh, and then it's also taped up here. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just looking forward to the wondrous plants that's in here. And I'm sure you guys are too. Otherwise, you guys wouldn't be watching. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So, I actually went through a little period where I started hating my plants. Uh, I started hating how much time it took. For me to care for them, it, it started to become a little bit of a toxic relationship between me and my plants. 
And it's just one of those things where it's all like, I just didn't have enough time in the day to actually do anything. And I started feeling like my plans started becoming a chore, and it wasn't a good chore either. And so I started hating them, and it felt like I was doing it because I had to. But then I kind of like took a step back for about a month, and I was just all like, you know what? Like, I really do love my plants, and I really do want to keep on growing out my ex uh, collection. They were there for me when uh, I was down, so I can't give up on them just yet. Um, so for a little bit, I did have to stop uh, my spending and just reevaluate where uh, my love for plants came from. All right. So there is two in here. And so... The reason why I have to open up the entire box the correct way is because I don't know how sellers um, actually tape the plants down or what they do inside of the box. As in, with Anna, this is how she did it. So here are the two uh, Hoyas are, and they are obviously taped to the box, and so they don't move. And if they do move, then it's just a tiny little bit. Okay. I'm actually really loving this light. Like, maybe I could get some selfies in, post onto my grinder. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I'm going to get dirt everywhere. It's fine. I'm just going to have to <laughs> vacuum. Ah. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a lot smaller than I expected. Uh, and by that, I just mean like the leaves themselves. This is a Hoya Pazii, P A Z I A E. And I would show it, but it's kind of backwards. But <laughs> you guys go. Uh, so these leaves are a little bit smaller. I thought that they were going to be a little bit more elongated or a little bit fatter. And so they're maybe like about the size of my thumb. Yeah, pretty much about the size of my thumb here. And so, the blooms, so the seller was telling me, Anna was telling me, she goes, so this is actually really fast and easy growing Hoya, and so that's got me super, super excited. It does look like the growth tip did dry off, and so it'll just give me a new growth point. That's okay. I've, I come to the conclusion that any growth tip that I get in the mail, they always end up drying off or dying off or rotting off or whatever. They're just no longer there. And so I've learned that I have to just give them time for them to actually give me new uh, growth tips. And usually at that point, they're doing a lot better. So let's go ahead and get this one. Uh, it always makes me so sad whenever um, I have to rip off uh, the tape from the packages because then I miss out on the thank you stickers and everything. I don't know. It's just like those small little things, but what's important is the Hoya. Oh, oh, okay. So this one is a Hoya Clandestina. Oh no, where'd my label go? Oh, I'm going crazy, guys. Okay, so this is a Hoya Clandestina. This is a white uh, flower variety. Oh gosh, it's actually showing up really dark on camera, which I'm loving because it's pretty dark in person too. And so it does have some water spots, so I could just probably wash those off. That's okay. But this kind of reminds me of like a uh, Macrophylla or Chistachia, all those other ones. It's fine. Where did that label go? I swear it was just here. Okay. Oh, well. Anyways. So this package is from Hoya How. So in here should be two more plants? Question mark. So Hoya How had his purge on Hoya Haven BST. And I wasn't planning on buying anything. I was still on the plant ban. And, uh, he forcibly brought me out of the band, and so here I am with these plans. 
I should have bought. But I did. <laughs> uh. Oh. Gotta be careful. Be breaking my nails and whatnot. Okay. So, it's no surprise. The Hoya Hell knows how to package. So here's all this fluff. I'll probably go ahead and reuse this uh, if I do sell anything. And I freaking love his stickers. I think I have like three or four sets just lying around my house now. But I got Penny. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got Penny and Mr. Flappy on this one. Oh! And I also got Penny and Mr. Floppy on this one as well. So that's really nice. I'll, uh, hell, you should have. <laughs> okay, so. Freak, freaking love these stickers. <laughs> and I always love the twine. It just adds like a really nice touch to it. <laughs> so, so uh, somebody posted this on Holy Haven BSD, and I thought that would be fun to share. But if you take Mr. Floppy here, and if you flip him backwards, I don't think that I need to tell you guys what this looks like. <laughs> okay. Here's one time. I don't know what else to talk about. I'm so sorry. Okay. So here's some fluff. Oh! That's right! <laughs> so this is the Hoya Thompsonia. You know, I'm actually not that impressed with it. In... Just kidding. I take that kind of back-ish, maybe. So, I know that uh, the Thompsonia has soared in popularity recently. Like, before it was maybe like $40, and then now it's like $60, and then some people are selling it for $120, and it just keeps on going up! Uh, and anyways... Um, this is the Hoya Thompsonia. Uh, it is fuzzy, but it's not as fuzzy as I thought it'd be. Let me see if I could stop the light from, um, interfering. So it's like, here it is. And like, it's not splashy. And like, it is hairy. Let me see if I can get, get it from another angle. My blind ass can't see unless I'm super close to the phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if you guys could actually see all that hair. But, or if it's just focusing on my face. Yay. Yeah. Anyways, um, the bottom of the leaves is fairly fuzzy. The top of the leaf is not fuzzy, but it's super hairy. Like, just looking at it, I could already see the hairs. So, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one, to be completely honest. I, to be, like, I, I only got this because of the hype. Like, I just wanted to see what the hype was. Okay, I'll just put this here. <laughs> so, this is the last plant in this haul. Um, put the other set right there. Why won't you open? Ugh. I was about to be so mad if I did miss that. Do it for the boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Okay, so this is the Hoya Biagensis. So it does have some splash. Like, I don't think that I need to point that out. Like, you guys could already see the splash on this leaf. Um, these leaves are super round, super cute. I'm loving it. This leaf's probably gonna fall off because it's starting to yellow. But it does have a new growth point right there. And I was not expecting that. The pictures did not show that. And so this is really, really exciting. Ah, oh, 
I'm so ready for this to grow out. This is definitely already on my number one wish list or uh, top ten, top whatever. And so I'm actually really, really excited. I want to get this one, or I already have this one. Excuse me. Uh, I want to also get the Hoya Kalinia. Uh, it's also like a smaller leaf Hoya, uh, and it also has a lot of splash. Uh, I think it's like I am L something. But I know that it has some splashiness like this one, but it's not exactly the same. As in, like, it comes in, in like, this darker red-ish kind of tone, and I don't know what color these leaves come in. It looks like they're just coming in green, but I'm really, really keeping my eyes on those ones. Uh, I know that Rick Jarrett had some uh, listed on his Hoya Facebook uh, Lovers store group page and i was going to type sold but then i was also like bruce like you're on a ban like you really can't be by anymore and i think after this one or after my next plant next week comes in i'm really going to um uh, stop on my buying only because i really cannot keep on trying to make it to the post office just to pick up some plants uh i mean i work nights and so by the time that i do wake up the post office is already closed, and by the time that I actually do get home, I'm so tired that I don't want to leave the house again. So, I don't know. I'm in a little bit of a fight with that. So, yeah. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And so, we have five new plans for Hoyas, one of the Shiria. And, yeah. Until next time.